to Fox for Meteorologist Andrew Shipley. You know, luckily today I had yeah. my rain jacket, yep. I had my rain boots, I had my umbrella. I think I was pretty prepared. Do we need all of this here in Southwest Florida tomorrow? Well, of course, Elise. You live in the uh, Sunshine State, but also the, the rainy, rainy state. Season, but yeah. uh, it rains every afternoon now at <laughs> the time. But but you are prepared. I am proud of you for that. <laughs> but uh, uh, we are still seeing a few lingering showers out there. Immokalee uh, kind of just kind of fizzling out to over you right now. But uh, still a little bit of shower activity there as well as Southern Collier County. County, mainly in the Golden Gate area. We're also seeing a little bit of a pop up shower just over North Captiva. These are all pushing offshore for you right now, but still uh, some lingering showers out there at this hour, but not everyone's seeing that. Let's take a look outside here in Cape Coral and uh, you're looking up along Pine Island Road uh, here tonight. Uh, most of us uh, as showers have uh, kind of died out are looking at more partly cloudy skies the rest of the way through here as temperatures cool down into the mid 70s. So another mild night for us, another humid night for us as well. But uh, take a look at temperatures tomorrow. We are looking at upper 80s, maybe low 90s. I'm forecasting hitting 90 degrees in Fort Myers, but we will be tracking uh, still again that humidity around, which means those feels like temperatures mid 90s to even upper 90s. Say Punta Gorda, for example, feeling like 97 degrees tomorrow afternoon, as well as down in Marco Island feels like temperatures say Sanibel 92 after you are going to be spending any time outdoors, making sure you take breaks, you stay hydrated as well as keeping yep the rain gear with you because we are looking at dry conditions in the morning hours, but you get at about one o'clock. We'll be watching up along I 75. Those showers bubbling up there and then pushing inland with the sea breeze. And we do expect scattered stuff until about five, six o'clock and then becoming more widespread, especially inland uh, as you get in towards the six o'clock hour and that continues uh, well into the overnight hours, which you'll notice it stays relatively dry up along the coast coastline, though I can't uh, rule out a stray shower pushing back towards uh, the west. Most activity will be inland uh, for you on your Monday, but some of us could easily pick up an inch to maybe two inches, three inches localized uh, of rain. Again, inland storms is expected for you tomorrow, and we need the rain. All of us need the rain uh, as we are continue to see that drought conditions across southwest Florida for you. We haven't again seen that rain until about the last couple of days here as rain Rainy season has uh, started to uh, return to the area. We're going to see that continue as the week moves on. 70% chances of rain Tuesday, Wednesday. Backs off down to 50% there Thursday, Friday. Continues actually to back off as we're getting towards next weekend. But what's going on here? What's in this increase in storms? Well, we have a cold front to the north of us stalled out. But on the back side of this, we're going to watch this area of low pressure develop. And that's going to help increase our storm activity. And then that pushes off to the north. And as that pushes off of north, it backs off our rain chances as we get in towards uh, next weekend for us is also there'll be the area we're watching for maybe potential tropical development as it pulls away uh, from Florida. But to remember, we are in the rainy season now and the majority of our rain for the year comes over the next four months. So get used to these afternoon daily showers and storms and we're going to see that reflected there on our seven day forecast each and every afternoon tracking those storms. Again, rain chances back off though a little bit heading into the weekend though temperatures right around that 90 degree mark, Elise.